there's no one running. Why are you doing this? Why would you, out of 300 people, have a, dis a, a problem? It's the law. I want to make America great again. That's it's simple. the law. You can't wear it in here. A Garland County man upset after he says his rights were violated when he went to vote and he went to a polling place wearing that. Make America Great Again hat, but was told that he had to take it off before he could vote. And krk 4s Caitlin Reardon met up with him today to listen to why he feels this was wrong. Caitlin? Well, Bob and Ashley, he says he feels like it didn't break any rules because it wasn't advertising a political party or it wasn't related to any of the candidates running in the current election. Sir, there's no one running. Why are you doing this? It became a huge scene. Everyone was gathered around watching, obviously. Making a huge scene wasn't what Mark Bates was going for when he wore his Make America Great Again hat into his Garland County polling place Tuesday. While in line, uh, one of the officials, like real loud over top of everyone, said, uh, hey, you can't, you can't have that on in here. You have to take that off. It's the law. You can't wear it in here. Bates says at first he didn't want to remove the hat, but ultimately complied after the poll worker threatened to call the police to have him removed. I could call the police. That's the next step. Do you want to go that far? Instead of relinquishing my right to vote and not making my vote count, I took the hat off and continued to vote. Can you last Bates. But Bates says that wasn't the end of it. He felt his rights were violated. It didn't break any rules. According to the Garland County Election Commission, they train their poll workers according to state law on what is considered electioneering. State law says it includes attempting to win votes by wearing campaign buttons, caps, shirts, signs, or other articles of influence. They say when they trained poll workers this year, the Make America Great Again hat was specifically used as an example of something that is not allowed. Because it's a law. Bates disagrees, saying the hat doesn't tie directly to a candidate. For someone just take my right away on their opinion or their idea of the law or their opinion of politics, uh, I don't feel that that's right. It's your right to wear it outside that door, 100 feet from these poles. Now, the Garland County Election Commission says that it's ultimately up to the chief judge at each polling place to make that final call on what's allowed. Bates says he plans to file a complaint and seek legal action.